Our ecosystem provides us different materials that help us survive and reproduce. Living things like plants provide foods to animals, and non-living things like sunlight help organisms survive by providing energy and heat. Ecosystems are composed of two components which are biotic, that pertains to living organisms that shape an ecosystem, and abiotic component that pertains to non-living physical and chemical composition of ecosystem. Let's discuss the abiotic and biotic components of an ecosystem here on Science 101. Plants, animals, bacteria and other living thing that is present in an ecosystem is a biotic component. Some of them are producer of food, others are consumer and some are decomposers. These three work together to transfer energy from one organism to the other using food cycle and are responsible for diseases and outbreaks. They depend on abiotic components to survive, reproduce and develop. They can adapt to the changes in environment. There are three main categories of biotic components. Producers or autotrophs that can make their own food through photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants captured light energy and use it to convert water, carbon dioxide and minerals into oxygen and other organic compounds like sugar. Next category is consumers, those organisms that feed on other organisms. Some consumers feed directly to plants. They are called primary consumers and are herbivores. Secondary consumers feed on the primary consumers. They can be omnivores that eat both plants and animals, or carnivores that eat animals only. Tertiary consumer are animals that eat primary and secondary consumers. The last category is decomposer. Decomposers are organism that decomposes or breaks down organic material such as remains of dead organisms. Bacteria and some fungi are examples of decomposers. Non-living things also help the ecosystem to sustain life. These non-living things are the abiotic components of an ecosystem. Abiotic components are the physical and chemical factors that act on the living organisms at any part of their life. These are called ecological factor. Water is an abiotic component that is essential for all life on Earth. It is considered as the universal solvent since it dissolves many substances. Water is present everywhere and used in transportation, lubrication, temperature regulation and it keeps animals' life functioning. Sunlight is another abiotic component. It is the main source of energy on Earth and plays an important role in photosynthesis. It keeps our planet warm, without the sun, the Earth would be lifeless ball of ice-coated rock. Soil act as a foundation for plants by supporting plant roots and keeping plants upright for growth. It contains air, water and minerals that is used by plants to make their own food. Soil is the backbone of our food security. Without it, farmers will not be able to grow plants that we eat. Air is an abiotic component that is present everywhere especially in the atmosphere. Air is consisting of different gases like oxygen, nitrogen, methane and carbon dioxide. It is important in the process of respiration of animals, where animals take oxygen from air to breathe. Temperature is a physical quantity that expresses hot and cold. It is manifestation of thermal energy. It can vary in different regions of Earth. Organisms survive at a certain temperature that is why it is very important for their survival. Let's wrap it up. Abiotic and biotic components of ecosystem work together to sustain life. Abiotic components like water, sunlight, soil, air and temperature are the non-living components of an ecosystem. Biotic components like animals and plants are the living thing present in an ecosystem. They can be producers or organisms that make their own food, a consumer that consumes plants and other animals and decomposers that decomposes dead organisms. Be updated by our video weekly by subscribing to our YouTube channel. See you next week.